Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Natasha, welcome to my channel. This video is a tag created by Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and Abby Williamson, and they created a makeup and glasses tag. Because I've only ever worn glasses in a handful of videos on my channel, I don't think people realize just how often I wear glasses. I wear them all the time unless I'm filming. Wearing glasses does slightly impact how I wear makeup, and it is something that I think impacts more people than we acknowledge. I think at some point, most people do have to wear glasses. Even if you have perfect eyesight when you're younger, there's a chance your eyesight can get worse. Or as you get older, you have trouble seeing up close. So you need like bifocals and cheaters and stuff. And makeup is all about putting stuff on your face and trying to make certain things look a certain way, playing with certain colors. So when you put something on top of that, something that can potentially obstruct part of your face, that is going to potentially change how you wear makeup. There are 11 questions here, and I don't think anyone tagged me specifically, so I'm just tagging myself. And if you do have glasses and you wear makeup and you have a channel or an Instagram or something and you'd like to do something like this, consider yourself tagged by me. The first question is nearsighted or farsighted. Expand if you want. I am very nearsighted. I feel like from all the videos that I've watched, being nearsighted is more common than being farsighted. I'm not actually sure if that's true, but that's what it seems like. A lot of people have used an arm's length as a good way to explain just how bad or good their eyesight is, and I think arm's length is a pretty good measurement. I really can't see anything past my hand, even just a foot or so away from my face. Everything else becomes very blurry. I have had pretty poor eyesight for the majority of my life. The second question is how often do you wear glasses? And like I said in my intro, I wear glasses all the time. Sometimes I'll put contacts in for maybe one random occasion or something. Uh, and I do wear contacts while I film just for very short windows of time so that it's easier for me to see the viewfinder and also um, to prevent a glare on my glasses like you can see now. But in general, I wear glasses every day to work. I wear them all the time while at ho I'm at home. Pretty much from when I wake up in the morning to when I go to bed, I wear glasses. The third question is how long have you been wearing glasses? And I started wearing them, I think in fourth or fifth grade. So I think I was around nine or 10 years old. We took seeing tests in elementary school and that's when I realized that I couldn't see very far and a lot of things were very blurry on the chalkboard. And um, so I had to go to the eye doctor and get glasses. And I think that was right at the end of elementary school for me. Fourth question, have you ever been teased for wearing glasses? And I really haven't ever been teased for wearing glasses, but I have been teased for wearing tape on my glasses. For a year or so in middle school, for some reason, I just broke my glasses almost immediately every time I got a new pair. And I think it was because it was more of like a bendy wire frame and I was just too harsh with my glasses so I would break them all the time. The little legs or whatever these are called would just break off so I'd have to tape it back on until I could get a new pair. So I did get teased a little bit for having to always have tape on my glasses but it was never mean-spirited. It was never like I was being bullied for having tape on my glasses. It was just something that was funny. I think I was more uncomfortable with wearing glasses. I think I put a lot of that on myself. I feel like I was more down on myself for wearing glasses, especially at such a young age. I didn't really want to be different from anyone else and I felt like I was the only one wearing glasses and nobody else was and it was just a big change for me at the time. And so I think I was worried that people would judge me for wearing them, even though probably no one noticed or cared. And so for a long time, I wouldn't wear glasses unless I needed to see something really quick. So if I was taking notes or something, I would like put them on really quick and then I would take them off right away and like write stuff down. And I would just try not to wear them as much as I could. And I even did this horrible thing that I regret so much, um, but I realized that I could see the chalkboard better if I squinted my eyes and kind of like pulled my eyes out more. That probably looked even worse than just wearing glasses. And I'm sure that was not good for the very, very delicate skin around my eyes. So, so that's not great. And I do distinctly remember doing that because for some reason that would make it a little bit clearer so I could see. And I just looked back and I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I was so ashamed of wearing glasses because it really wasn't that big of a deal. Question number five, have you ever debated getting LASIK? Expand on your relationship with glasses. So I did talk a little bit about my relationship with glasses at first when I was younger. I do want to get LASIK. Uh, the price tag is kind of getting in the way. I think the average price is like $2,500 per eye. And for a while I didn't just have like $5,000 to drop on LASIK, but I have been saving up for it. And that is something that I would like to get. 
some point during this year. Uh, I would like to get LASIK before my wedding, which isn't until the summer of 2021, so it's not for another year and a half or so. So I have plenty of time to do it. Um, as much as I like wearing my glasses and I will miss wearing glasses when I get LASIK, I don't want to have glasses for my wedding day and I don't want to wear contacts because contacts are very uncomfortable for me. I wore them for years and years without any problem, but now when I wear contacts, they make my eyes itchy, they make my eyes feel dry and irritated, and I just feel like my eyes are extra sensitive after I wear contacts, so I can't wear them for very long. I definitely wouldn't want to wear them all day for my wedding, and even though glasses are kind of a part of my identity at this point and I'm not ashamed of them by any means, I don't want to have glasses on for my wedding day. I don't want that in my photos. I'm not even going to be covering my face with a veil. I'm going to have a veil on, but it's always going to be back. I'm not covering my face at all. It's a big day and I want everyone to see me and I want all of my face to be visible for my wedding photos. The number six question is how many pairs of glasses do you have and wear regularly? And I have three pairs of glasses, but I really only wear this pair all the time. So I have two pairs that I got from Zenny Optical and they're pretty similar. They're both just like plastic black frames. And I recommend Zenny Optical if you are looking for affordable frames with your prescription. You just go in and type in your prescription and I think you have to calculate your pupillary distance, which you can do with a piece of paper really easily. And you can save it on your account so it has like your prescription every time you go on. And you just pick a pair of frames that you like and you order it. And I think I got both of these pairs for under $25, including shipping. So it's a really great deal, especially if you're really clumsy with your glasses and you break them often like I used to do when I was younger. I like this pair. I've had these for about four years and I think they fit my face really well. It's probably not the most modern or trendy shape by any means, but I like them and I think they are flattering to my face shape and they make me feel the most like myself when I wear them. These ones are really dirty and smudged up. I never wear these. The lenses are bigger than this pair, but it's pretty much the same idea. Plastic black frames. I don't like this shape as much as I like the other ones, so I don't wear these as often. I'll wear them if I can't find the other pair. It's kind of just like my backup pair of glasses. And then this pair I've had for the longest, but I've worn the least, and this is a pair that I got from the eye doctor, I think back in college. And these are the same size as the second pair that I just showed you, but they have a light gold trim on the top, a little bit more of a fancy design on the side, if you can see that, and then it has nothing on the bottom. I haven't worn them in so long that I kind of forgot about them, and I recently found them when I cleaned out my closet, if you saw in my Get Shit Done With Me vlog. And I completely forgot that I even own these, and now that I have them on my face again, I actually kind of like them, so maybe I'll wear these to work more now that I have them back in my hands. And once I get LASIK, I will donate these. I think there are some libraries near me that have glasses donation boxes that you can just put them in, and they'll figure out the prescription and give it to someone who would need them. And there are probably some websites that you can donate and send these to. So if I can find any information, I'll put that in the description box. Number seven is best mascara. And I really don't have any particular mascara that I use all the time. I like to try different formulas pretty often, especially drugstore formulas and kind of just see what's out there. I probably use the Essence Lash Princess mascara the most, but I have very short lashes. They never touch the lenses. I don't have trouble with smudging or super watery eyes. So most mascaras work pretty well for me. I'm wearing the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes one right now, and I don't like that. It's not really doing anything for my lashes at the moment. Uh, but for the most part, I don't have a particular mascara that I think works best. Number eight is false lashes, yes or no. And if I had done this tag a couple months ago, my answer would have been no. I never wear false lashes, and I still haven't yet, but I did buy a couple pairs from, I think, Ardell. They have the Demi Wispies, but they also have like a baby Demi Wispies version now, which are a little bit shorter in length, and I think that will be better for my eyes. I have smaller eyes, they're a little bit more deep set, and I have shorter lashes, so I feel like for the most part, fake lashes are not the best looking on my eyes, but I'm gonna try those pairs and maybe, maybe I might be a false lash person. I probably won't wear them all the time, of course, because that is a lot of extra time and effort, but never say never on that. My answer is still no, but maybe, maybe in the future. Number nine is best base products for minimal transfer that you've experienced. And I know there are so many videos on YouTube about how to make your makeup not move around underneath your nose pads and stuff like that, how to keep it from transferring. Honestly, if you have makeup on your face, around your nose, and you have something sitting on top of that for multiple hours and your face oils are getting mixed into it, it's gonna change the makeup. Like, your face moves. I know some people will say to just use cream products there, 
which I think is a good idea. That way when you take off your glasses, you can kind of just use your finger to mush the product back together and it won't look as disturbed. If I have to take off my glasses for anything, I kind of just push down on those spots with my finger and then I'll wipe whatever is on my glasses so that they don't look crusty and gross when I set them down. For the most part, um, the amount of extra time and effort that I would have to put into keeping it from transferring is not worth it to me. And if I do uh, go to work all day wearing glasses and then take them off to put contacts in to film after work, which I don't do that much, um, I'll just use a beauty sponge or something and kind of put some concealer or something and make that part look a little bit smoother. Number 10, what is one misconception people have about wearing glasses and makeup? And I saw a lot of people giving answers about being able to wear more makeup or having to wear less makeup, misconceptions like that, and I feel like the majority of the people who have done this tag already have mentioned everything that I can think of. I don't really know of any major misconceptions people have about wearing glasses and makeup that hasn't already been addressed multiple times in these tags. So I don't really have an answer for this one. And number 11, probably my favorite question, is tricks for making your makeup more visible behind frames. And I know a lot of people have been saying to wear darker makeup or wear more makeup, more dramatic makeup so that it's more easily visible. And I definitely agree with that. I think to add on top of that, I would suggest wearing more high contrast colors. So if you're wearing a light shade and a deeper shade, maybe to deepen out the outer corner, go for a much lighter shade and then go for a much darker shade so that the contrast between the two is higher and then maybe it'll catch people's eye. And then of course, if you're gonna go for like a shimmer or a glitter or a sparkle, go all out, wear more than you think you should so that it definitely like stands out. But I think another one is to wear frames that are larger and maybe lighter in color, either a light gold or clear. I'll use these ones as an example. So these ones are a little bit bigger and they don't have a dark black frame kind of closing my eye in and they kind of act as like display windows for my eyes so you can very clearly see what makeup I have on underneath versus if you wear something that has a darker frame and is much smaller and doesn't have as much space around your eyes, I think it's a little bit harder to see what I have. The black frame is kind of covering pretty much my entire eyelid versus something like this, it would still be pretty visible. And I also think if you can invest in getting like the anti-glare top coat or anti-glare finish that some lenses offer nowadays, that'll also keep the glare from blocking parts of your eyelid as well. So those are my three main tips on how to make your makeup more visible behind your lenses. I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. I had a lot of fun doing it. It was fun to talk about something that I don't really ever talk about, but is something that really impacts my life. Like being able to see is a very big part of my life and how I experience the world. So it was fun to talk about that a little bit. I will try to have as many of these videos linked in the description box. I think I have like 10 or so open right now that I've been watching. And it's fun to see how everyone answers these differently and also what we all have in common. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.